Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Muppet, welcome back to Fortress Craft. I was going to wait a little while until this uh, laser thing had finished, but I just saw this guy here, this little rock, and it may look like a rock, but it's not. If I shoot it, it's actually a camo bot. Oh, that guy actually packs a real punch. Um, yeah. I didn't realize they actually hurt you that much. Because I've never really been hit by one in the past, so maybe that's why. Anyway, let's go around. Let's pick up some more. Let's pick up some more. Let's pick up some more. More, 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 more. Technically, we can get like 300 tin out of this guy because both of those other chests should be done. Uh, yeah. So, we got down to the cold caverns. We got down to negative 250. I stretched my guys all the way down. And then I got the um, I got the auto excavator set up, and it started shooting. Unfortunately, the auto excavator takes a long time to do anything, so I let it run for quite a while. And I was going to let it run all the way through, and then start casting a video. But then I saw oh camo bot, and I just wanted to show people because it was in such a beautiful position, and it just looked beautiful. So I was just like, yeah, let's do it. So while, while we're up here, let's have a look at some research. Advanced logistics does that. Oh, this is all the stuff we discovered in the cold caverns as well. Or well, the chilled caverns, as they're now called. Uh, I'm still not seeing my Mark II excavator, the mod for it, which I really, really, really would like to know about. But, alright, so anyway, this is crystal. This is kind of like an ore that's everywhere in the cold caverns. But you got to mine it with a special uh, head. You can't just mine it normally, you have to mine it with a special head. We've got some cold cavern flora, flora, flora. Get. And then this will be six. Oh, I thought it would be two. Anyway, there we go. So that's all of the stuff that I discovered down there. Cryogenics research. Intermediate mining. BFL. That's like big freaking laser. And fusion drill motors, which give you 128 times. Whereas the ones we can build right now are like 32 times or 64 times, I can't remember. It has a height 100%, I don't know what that means, but yes. I mean, we've got more than enough stuff, I think, at the moment. So let's go ahead. Let's get cryogenics research, I feel like. so. We're starting to get into the serious amounts here. So that's a lot. So, we're gonna need to upgrade these again to get us more stuff. Um, let's just do the basics. So, lithium, this is a lithium guy, needs 70 and then 210, which seems like a lot because it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two hundred and ten. Yeah, that's a lot. And then we need fifty and fifty for the other ones. That cryogenics man. I don't know why we're getting that either, but it seems like it's seems like it's somewhat necessary. So let's just get a whole bunch more storage chests. Eventually we'll be able to get into all of these extra ones that um, the guy named Tricky does. Two thousand hoppers and huge storage hoppers but they all need titanium and they all need nickel and they all need all this other crazy crap um so even this guy is a hundred but but apparently you can set permissions on it or something so i'm not gonna worry about that let's just get that stuff and let me get some more belts uh i feel like my base is probably gonna die because these attacks are getting decently serious and we're not really doing a good job at defending them. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you are like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we already did lithium. So what do we need? So that's 100 and 300 of tin and 100 and 300 of copper. So we actually need 400 of each of these guys. I don't even have that much in my inventory. Tin, that's almost there. 
That would be enough copper. So yeah, that cryogenics, man. That better give us something good. No, that's cryogenics. That's what I want. Stop telling me that I want to research intermediate mining. All right. Recipes, projects, cryogenics. Cryogenics. Unlocked red. We could actually build this crap. Okay, that would be nice. Cryo hopper, organic reassembler. Doesn't give me any special cold machines. I want to know what gives me the Mark II gun because you remember in the cold caverns, my gun was having problems working. That's uh, that gets fixed when you get the Mark II gun. So one, two, three, four. There's all the copper. Now I need thirty more tin. Thirty more tin, please. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Got a hundred, whole bunch of lithium, whole bunch of iron. I know you can't see it over there, but I just got a ton of that. Give me some tin. It's going faster, but it's still oh so slow. What do you got for me? That looks like a pristine faceted eye. That looks like some good glands. It's always good to have good glands. Uh, come on, six more. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. So then we put one, two, three, four. And that should be enough for cryogenics, which I'm not sure we actually need. But if we can start to build the good glands out of the, a lot of the crappy glands, then that might be a good thing for the future. Although, how many of these? I've got six of them right now, so that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, let's go down, because I feel like I'm good at this point. Up here, I feel like I've got a really long research chain running, which is good. So let's go down and actually show you guys the cryo uh, the cryo area, because I could have showed you, but didn't really get to see a lot of it. And it is really impressive. It's really, it looks awesome. Although we might have a bit of trouble getting down there, but I feel like we'll be all right. And while we're down, while we're going down there, we can sort of check out this area and see if there's anything that's going to block us from actually doing a lift. Because I'm sure there will be some things. Okay. There was a cave over to the right as well that I found. Here we go. So you can see this is wide open. This is what our gun has done so far. Well, where are we? Where are we? There we go. So, you see it. He just ignores the coal apparently, this guy. So, I don't know how that gap got there, but six is quite a lot actually. So what we'll do here, we'll put a level down there. Oh, that is more than just six, that is 12. So we'll put another one down there. And there's more down there. Okay, so we are still not at the 200 level. So we're gonna go back up and we are going to get some things that will help us take care of this. You can see the ceiling is constantly being chewed out by our auto excavator, which is awesome. Go and get me in there. Ah. Damn it. Damn it. The hole I was trying to get up through and land on has actually been taken out. Anyway, get back up there. Get back up there. All I want to do is get to the surface, please. Just help me get to the surface. All right. So there's a thing that we should have unlocked called a nano something or other. Uh, nano thingamabob. I don't know where it is. Nano disintegrator. There we go. So this guy is a bit of a pain in the ass, but what this does is you put it on a thing and it destroys everything. Well, it doesn't destroy it, but it converts ore into um, basic rock that you can just destroy. And I don't see myself getting a mark to weapon anytime soon because i think it needs a bit more research in all the right places so what we're going to do is we're going to start doing this and that goes running so we'll get a bunch of nano disintegrators so these guys need lightweight machine housing which i can just manually make the more interesting bits that we're going to need is this so that requires some of those that requires copper coil and power storage blocks so we're going to reuse this thing over here your base is under attack. Shut up. 
I'm sure you guys can handle it. And if you can't handle it, the base being destroyed doesn't seem to matter anyway, so. We're up, bit of lag. Okay, so this is where the coils get created. So, oh, actually, I, I keep forgetting, because this is a charger, so this is a machine that actually creates the Mark One power cores. It's not, so you don't need to create like 50 of these, you just need to create one, and then start throwing things into it. So, um, copper coil, we need five copper coils. One, so, one, two, three, four, five. How is this guy going over there? We've got a lot of red chest still queued up. So it's taken, it's sweet time. Probably power concerns, I'm guessing. If we have a look at this chest, it's actually empty, so. It's not like there's a ton of research things backing up, it's just taken a while to make all of them. The problem with this sort of thing is you do end up potentially in situations where you've got, like if this gets full of the copper ones and this gets full of the lithium ones, then it's gonna stall. But I don't think I've ever been in that situation. Usually it tends to spread them out fairly well, so I'm not gonna worry too much. How are you doing? Four copper coil, I feel like that is the amount we need. No, it's not, we need another one. Oh, my butt is starting to hurt. I've been sitting too long on this chair. It's a new chair and it's pretty good, but still, you know, some things just hurt your butt and you just it's just like a thing. So, all right, we need power for you. I hate to take power away from these guys, but I feel like I'm going to. Now, you know what, let's sit it over, over here and let's not do that. So what do you need? Can't locate one copper coil. So apparently you need copper coils. Okay. Let's set up a nice little power thing here first so we can start to do that stuff. So we need a chest, tin. I thought we were past the point in the game where we run out of tin. I thought we were past that point. Probably because I just dumped 400 tin in for bloody research that would definitely have sunk down my tin supplies. So now you go like that, and you go like that, and you go like that. Excellent, don't just crawl all over my machine, you piece of crap. Let's turn that around. So you need a copper coil. Okay, one copper coil. All right, so we need a couple of these machines to make coils. I feel like I'm gonna do another setup here because we might need a lot of these nano disintegrators in the future, at least until I get a Mark II gun. So I feel like it's worth setting up a permanent setup for this. So we need extrusion plants and coil plant. 10 copper plates, three tin plates. So 10 copper plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tin plates. And there was a copper wire in there somewhere, wasn't there? Yep. <clears throat> And then, what we're going to need is we're going to need another machine over here to do the level two bits, I feel like. Although I'm not sure what the level two bits need. Do the level two bits need the level one bits? I have a feeling they do, so let's just, yeah, I know, I know. Defend the base, even though we don't care if it gets blown up. Die, all of you die. That was pretty sweet. If only this guy had unlimited power, we would not have a problem, but it's all down to the power. Oh, I gotta shift in my seat a bit. This new chair is like, it doesn't squeak, but it doesn't feel as comfortable sitting on it. Which is weird, because it looks a lot more comfortable, but it's just not as comfortable. Alright. Wire, give me some plate, give me some plate, extrusion plant, coiler plant. Coiler plant. And this guy requires one copper coil. So what we do here is we get a bunch of chests, F15. You are going to be our chest. You are going to be 
Well, we're gonna need to add and remove because we are gonna chuck it down to another machine over there. So you, are gonna give me a bunch of copper. Not full? Lazy bastard. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 it's all good. It's all under control. Die, die, die. Oh, that guy's a toughie. Okay, eventually he did die. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should just start ignoring them. Maybe you should just start ignoring them. Okay, so, copper coil. What do you got? So we need eight of these to build a thingamabob. Come on. Desire is 50 power per second. Well, you've got a full thing under you, so I feel like you should be fine. What is your problem? Current power per second, zero. Cannot locate one copper coil. How can you not locate one copper coil? Are you one of those retarded machines that only works properly if you have a chest to input you? I feel like you got a belt. I feel like you have a belt. So I feel like you should be able to work directly off an input from another machine. Coiler plans. Why I think so. Let's get rid of you. And we put a chest here. Five. Now we got a copper coil. Okay. So that's, that's definitely putting copper coils in there. So let's try this again with you being less retarded than you were previously. Yes. Was it? Is it only allowed to put one in here? Is that the problem that you are seriously having? Oh my god. god. Alright, well we need eight of these things. I can't... How is that the problem? Really? I mean... That just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Alright, well we just we just have to deal with it, I guess. Okay, so we got eight here. We got eight, so eight should give us ability to build this. Which is a mark two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there. We're gonna get rid of this. And we're going to go back. What do you need? Mark 1 power boosters. I knew you needed Mark 1 power boosters. No valid hoppers found. Okay, well I suppose it doesn't matter because if you only put one in because this guy will use it straight away. You are at only I do not understand this machine. If this guy went straight onto a belt, it would be much better. So, okay, we may have to do something a little bit wonky here, so if I do this, okay, you just put something out onto a belt, I am so proud of you, okay, so what we're going to do here is do this, going to get rid of that, do that, and we're going to do that, and that is going to be remove only, and that is going to be add only, you are add only, and you go like that, and then we put our level 2 machine out, because apparently it's just too good to do things the proper way, and then that feeds back there, Just waiting for a copper wires. I feel like 
the wires maybe and not the thing okay so th that did work hasn't got enough power apparently how do you not have enough power this guy should be full he's pretty much full you are just a complainy pants all right so there we go bunch of mark 2 power boosters excellent love having those mark 2 power boosters so and they they should fill up forever which is really nice so lightweight machine housing is tin plate which of course we don't have a lot of so let's do one two three four one two three four one two three four let's get a whole bunch of tin plate in there whole bunch of it. Get as much as we can. Some of that. How's my research going? Going pretty good. Getting through it slowly but surely. Those chests are starting to empty out but yeah. Seems like this center one is the one that gets backed up and these two side ones seem to go out a little bit easier. Which is interesting. Only 59 copper. Interesting. I would have thought that would be full by now. Well, when the mine's still running, so that's good. 100 iron. Just see that at the edge. We did say at this uh, some point this episode we're going to check out the cold caverns a bit more. See how beautiful it is. See how wonderful it is. Um, yeah, I still feel like that's a good idea. So maybe at the end of the episode we'll go down with some nano disintegrators and we'll blow some shit up. Give me another one. Another one, there we go. Lightweight machine housing. No disintegrators. Give me some more of these guys. There we go. And these these don't stack. They absolutely 100% don't stack. So it's a good idea. See, look at these freaking things. They just don't stack. I hate having those things in my inventory. Five, six. Store them all in there. Excellent. So if we go down here, there are our nano disintegrators. What do we got here? Are we I think I feel like my laser's been finished. Okay. So you we can just super deep. Take a while, but super dig is fine. You know what? I hate super digging something. You know what? Let's stand underneath it and then super dig it. So at least then I know A, I'm not going to fall down when the damn thing gets dug out, and B, I'm not going to tear holes in the side of my perfectly shaped thing when uh, when the super dig finishes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Super dig this guy as well. Another attack coming, but who gives a crap? Oh, but oh, but oh. I feel like we can get the lift working this episode. With these nano disintegrators, I feel like we should be fine. Although I really, really, really do want my Mark II. I don't think I cut the side out of that. Well, the good thing about having... Ah! Let's just get rid of that. Just do a slow descent. Slow descent. Slow descent. Excellent. Alright, so this is... This is where we need. Actually, got some holes in the side there. This is where we need the nano disintegrators. So, what we do is we put it right here. And that is going to be all bright and shiny. Oh, did something above me. And now we can just chew this out like it's normal. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't do all the bits that I want it to do. But it seems like today it did everything beautifully. So that was just a great job. It just completely cleared that whole thing out. 
I know why the corners are all... Oh, see this little white outline? That's the drill. There we go. Let's go down slowly. And of course we stop going down slowly when... Uh... Oh, here we go. See this block? Trying to get rid of it. It's not getting rid of. Camo bots. And the camo bot just decided to hit me. I was about to shoot it, but... I have literally never been killed by camo bots before, and now I've been killed twice in one episode. So that is just some bullshit right there. Uh, anyway. Lift time. Lift time. We're just gonna go down there, and we are just going to mess all of the camo bots up. Absolutely mess them up. I'll wait for some health, because we gotta remember, once we get down below 200, our precious, um, grapple hook stops working which sucks absolutely sucks we got all the lift components got the lift manual control mode and compressor i love the manual control mode because then you can actually stop and fix things on the lift and all that sort of crap so it's awesome absolutely awesome uh yeah and you sort of saw you didn't really see the the auto excavator at work but it basically it just shoots up and it needs power so yeah that's basically all there is to it I gotta be careful. No, I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Getting close to it, so let's slow all the way down. There we go. Now, let's get out of here. Let's put the gun on. Stupid freaking camo bots. They actually like to suck on power, which is really interesting. Die, die, die. So we might need a turret down here to stop them from sucking on that power. But yes, here we go. Auto excavator. Boom. You have done your job, sir. You have done your job. So let's go ahead and get the area for the first lift out. This needs to go down one more. I'm assuming the laser will still reach it. Stop. Yes, yes it will. So, excellent. Let's light this up a bit as well. With a bit of light, so let's get another light over there. So, we also need a little access point for the, the uh, lift. I like to, yeah. I like to have this area open, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little access area over here, just so it's nice and like closeted and hit off and stuff like that. So a little hole in there, so we can go in there and we can change whatever we need to change. So lift, uh, we're going to have to excavate this a little bit, where's my lift gone? So you are like that. Look at that, three by three. So then we need to say lift compressor goes there, gets powered from the nearby thing, and lift manual control. We'll just put that anywhere we want, but we'll put it there. Now, don't need to fill those in so it looks nice and pretty. Now we go in. We actually need to be one more down, don't we? Okay. Do that. So now, so if we have a look, give me some more vertical space. So you are, you are negative 249, and we need to be going up to negative 8. So that's 241 that this guy needs to be going. So we hold down the E key, and you see down the bottom left there's a current range. So we'll make that 241. We could make it more, and we probably should, but I I like negative 8. So usually this would just shoot up straight away, but we've got a manual control in there. So then we just hold home to go up, and it goes up a maximum speed of 12 meters per second. And look at this. This is why we needed to clear all of those core, coal and ore out. Under attack, that's fine. That's fine. And now we go out and we stop. And negative eight. 
We stopped at negative nine. I must have done my maths incorrectly. So that needs to go up one more. So let's clear out this area. As we said, the entire thing will be negative eight at some point, but for now, let's just clear out this area. Make a nice little stairwell sort of deal. So we can easily get out and get back up. Excellent. You guys, all these alien attacks, man, they're really starting to annoy me. Even though they're not really doing anything. Ah, die, die, motherfucker. Ah, I'm not supposed to swear on this channel, am I? Um, actually, it's, I don't know, it's my channel, so I can kind of do whatever the hell I want, but... Look at all these guys coming, man. I don't think we're hitting any heavies yet, are we? Threat, no, 39. No heavies, though. Base destroyed. We may have to refactor this power so that each little gun has its own generator. Hmm. Hmm. I got my drink, though, so that's the important thing. But, yeah, so we got Mr. Lift over here. Stairway down there. And, yes, yeah, so you should be starting. You should be going up to negative eight. So let's just send that down again. And what we'll do is we'll create another section. I don't know, last time I had a lift directly under this lift, so I wasn't clearing ground. Like, I didn't need two lift shafts, I just needed one. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that again, because... Alright, so you need to be... One more. Alright, upgrade that to one more. And let's not go out. Let's just have a look at the cold cabin. So this is really, really creepy and blue and all that sort of stuff. And a bunch of those guys everywhere sucking on my power. I don't need a lot of power, though, for... for maybe it's not a big problem. Let's put some glass there. Actually, that's a really good solution, because if we put glass... The nano, the camo box can't get to it. They can't get to that one because all the way to the ceiling. So now they can't get to this one either. They can't get under the lift. I don't think they can squeeze through this little gap here. So if we put glass here, then I can't adjust that anymore. So we won't put glass there. But yes. So here we go. So this is just a big blue area. We can see some crystals all over the place. Here we go. There's a crystal supply, which... Crystals are really awesome. You don't really smelt them, but you use the crystal deposits directly for stuff. But, here we go, there's another camo bot. I see you, you bastard. Yes. He's trying to punch me, you see? He's not a little fist. He's trying to punch me, the bastard. I am, I used to not mind camo bots, but now I am just like, screw the camo bots. They can all go and die in a hole. And I think this is actually just one big cavern that just stretches on forever. I think that's done like that on purpose, so... Here we go. I think there are rubies around here. I don't think I've seen a ruby before. No, I have not. Alright, give me some rubies. I'm sure you will be useful for something in the future. Alright, let's have a bit of a look down here, because this looks like it goes down nice and deep. Pig unknown. Oh, there's a whole lot of unknown. Oh, it's sand. Sand. Sand is my worst enemy. Sand is like everybody's. Stop with the noise. What are you? You're lithium. How much lithium are you? 235,000. You are fuck all. So this, this is sand. And sand, as it might look like, is something that... Yeah, basically just keeps falling. So let's do a thing. Let's just shoot into here. Let's just shoot a nice hole. Actually, the hole's staying there. There we go. Starting to collapse. So you can see, if you shoot into the hole, it just starts to collapse. Now, what this means is, is that if you uncover something underneath sand, the sand will just all pile through that hole, and you can end up with several hundred thousand bits of sand freaking everywhere and it's a nightmare so sand is your worst enemy 
especially if you are digging up or digging sideways and you hit a bit of sand because even digging sideways you hit a bit of sand and it's just like hey guess what there's a bit of sand everywhere I already got you I'm not sure if you're a ruby or a diamond it's hard to tell but I guess you're a ruby there we go and basically this is the top level of the next section so this is like the midway point of what I've done so far so this is midway point oh Iron. Shit, I thought that was gold for a second. Maybe it's a bit too far up. A bit too high to be gold, but... Anyway, we can we can do a bit of spelunking down here. See if we can find anything interesting. King unknown. So here we go. That's sand. We already did that. Now this is the interesting thing. All those blue things is going to be the ore. So let's go down. Oh, I'm getting so lost here. Getting so lost here. Let's go down and let's discover one of these guys. Yeah, you are definitely sand. I can see some ore over there though. Right, bit of lag, bit of lag. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I know you can do it. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, let's go ahead and discover what this is. Oh, it's right below the sand. Oh my god. Let's dig around the freaking sand. And let's go have a look. Okay. I'm guessing this is probably going to be gold. There we go. No, that's copper. What the hell? I'm pinging unknown, aren't I? Yeah, I'm pinging unknown. Alright, let's go past the copper. There we go. There's our unknown block. So what does this look like? I can't tell. Looks like gold, actually. Looks a lot like gold. Where are we? I feel like we'll just dig a line up here. We just ran into something else, didn't we? This is our copper. We just ran into the copper vein. Again. Get out of the way, copper vein. I want to go straight up so I can get back to my lift. And you are just getting in the way. Alright, it's ping known ore. That is a lot of copper. That is completely covering me. Uh, you know what? That's alright. It's ore, so we can just scan it, so we can probably just find it again. And finding a massive, massive, massive amount of copper, not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, look at this iron ore. 5.2 million. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's just find our way back to the lift, go up and scan that new thing that we found. Oh no, we're at negative 271, which means that our grappling hook is now FUBAR again. Okay. Alright, let's just do small little bursts. I feel like we're almost back to the lift. There it is. Over there in the corner. So what did we find? Little bastard, I can see you, okay? Maybe I can't see you. There you go. Oh, he just stands there punching and slowly moving forward. You suck at your job, buddy. So at least we glassed off that power thing, so they're not going to come over here and start to suck on it again. I'm assuming none have gone down here. Doesn't look like it. Bloody nanobots. Alright. And we finished our cryogenics as well, so maybe we can start something off doing that. I never realised how noisy this lift is. When I was playing on my normal game, it just... It's just how I always had the sound off, so maybe 
that's why. Alrighty, get back up here. Has my base been destroyed? Nah, still looks pretty good. Still looks pretty good. Alright, unknown material. Ruby crystal, that's fine. Sand, you suck. Gold, yes. Right, I think gold is the first thing we find, so yes. Getting gold will be awesome. What are you? Mix of all three. And you can't smelt because you need two of them. That's alright. So let's pick up some resources. Pick up all three of those tin things. Let's pick up some lithium. I love how we're getting triple the amount of tin that we get of everything else because we really do need it. And copper is actually starting to look a little bit wonky at the moment. Not got a lot of it. Cryogenics. Intermediate mining upgrades. Start that because we've got nothing else to do. Cryogenics. I don't feel like they gave us anything. Oh crap! I just saw it. I just saw the Mark II. I just saw the Mark II. Finally got that. Require you have to find gold ore before you can get that. How gay is that? Solar panels. That'll be nice as well. They're not very good, but. I mean, that's like free energy. You don't have to use coal up anymore, which is awesome. So, Mark II requires advanced machine block, unknown, servo motor, and conductive PCB. And this conductive is yellow, so it means gold. So it means we need to smelt gold. Advanced machine block, I feel like that's a pain in the ass as well. Anyway, we're gonna finish it off here. And we have gone down to the depths and we found some awesome stuff. Uh, is that the only thing I can research? Is that the only one left? Yeah, it is. So let's finish the episode off by dumping a bunch of resources in here to get this guy going. So lithium. So let's we'll start with, so tin, you need the least. So you need 10 and 30. Then iron, you need 15, so that's 30. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then lithium, you need 35, which is 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 210. 210. Excellent. All right. So hopefully by the time we start the next episode, that will have finished itself off and we can get even better minor upgrades. Although I still want... Yeah, the best minor upgrade is obviously going to be using the ore smelter because nothing else even comes close. But, yep, that's going to take a while. Although we've got gold now, so we can start going on to cargo lifts. Cargo lifts will be our next big project. And we will go and find a way to get to that gold, um, that gold thing, that gold mine that we found. If it's decent, we will put a cargo lift next to it and we will start lifting that up to the surface. And that'll be awesome. So anyway, that's a pretty good episode. I'm going to go off and have some lunch right now. So I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned.